now, let us see how low Roman public architecture and statuary can really sink. Mussolini Dux, Mussolini the leader. This obelisk was built in the 10th year of Mussolini's reign. The rigid geometry, the driving out of everything that's round and irregular and essentially human. Behind me, another marvelous little piece of fascist architecture in which future heroes of the fascist regime could make themselves fit and strong. the glorification of fascist man, and you're welcome to it. Fascist religious architecture sounds like a contradiction in terms. After all, in fascism, there's no religion but the state. But here in this curious suburb of Rome called Eur, we have a church called St. Peter and Paul, which is fascist built, and it looks like it. Sort of parody of the Renaissance church, with the two apostles themselves on either hand seeming ready to preach the Mussolini doctrine, might being right, good, obedient servants of the state. Not much emphasis on the crucifixion, because after all, crucifixion is for the enemies. Perhaps, of course, Christ is the enemy. On the bottom step, somebody has written Odino Unico Dio. Odin is the one god. They seem to have the right idea. It's a relief to get away from this dead in human perfection to the real Rome of irregularity, imperfection, 